it's so nice not having to clean a big house. So we've, we've never run out, we're pretty much totally off grid. What we really like about this kitchen is where it's positioned in the van. We wouldn't change anything, would we? We love it. Kia ora koto. I'm Jordan, this is Tommy, and we are Tasman Travels. And we're currently touring Aotearoa, New Zealand in our Sprinter camper van, Matilda. Come and have a look. So welcome inside the van. We're now in our kitchen area. This is more than enough space for us. We have added on this extra sideboard that we flip down when we're driving along just to give us extra chopping space when the dishes are drying. We have our stainless steel sink here and our hot and cold water tap. So we have 100 litres of fresh water that's stored under the van and it comes out here. When we turn the hot water heater on, we have hot and cold water. So the fresh water will last us around four days to seven days, depending on how often we shower and wash up and stuff like that. Then we have our free burner gas hob. Now this van doesn't have an oven and um, we're quite happy with that. This is our third van. We've never had an oven and any times we've been in like Airbnbs or anywhere that is an oven, we still always just cook on the gas hob. Both the sink and the hob have these glass covers. So if we do, can't be asked to wash up, we can hide it away, but it also helps protect everything. We cover these up with dry mats and so they don't get scratched. Just above the gas hob, we have our extractor hood which we always whack on when we're cooking or open a window because of um, condensation. That's a big factor in van life and van living. Then we have our Waco 12 volt, um, 110 litre fridge freezer. And this is just full. It's always full. And we find this is more than enough space for us, for all of our chilled and frozen food. So um, one thing we love about this van is all the storage, especially in the kitchen. So down here, we have four drawers. We also have this cupboard here. These are really, really big drawers and cupboards. Um, so we've got more than enough room here. And then up here, we have our teas and coffees, our cafetiere and wine glasses. We drink a lot of coffee, so that's all kept nicely up here. We also put the kettle away up here when um, we're driving along. These cupboard type slider things we have, we have a love-hate relationship with them. They're really good because there's no door in your face and they never open when you're driving along. They always just slam down and stay down. One issue we did have though, is um, things were falling down the back. So where the, the sort of door slider thing goes over, things were getting stuck and then you either couldn't close it or couldn't open it. So Tommy just cut up some plastic, some thick plastic, screwed it in so there's like a back wall and that stops anything falling down the sides. For all those really annoying, oddly shaped, bulbous kitchen things, you have like Tupperware and big frying pans, we actually have loads of storage underneath this seat here. It's a right mess, but it's an organised mess. What we really like about this kitchen is where it's positioned in the van. Our previous van to this had the kitchen at the front, right by the door. We didn't really like that because um, the wind would blow in and we couldn't keep things going on the hob. And our van before that had the kitchen at the back and that just got in the way we found. So we, we love how um, it's positioned in the middle of the van because we can like see what's going on and move between the spaces nice and easy. So just opposite the kitchen, we have our wet room, which is just big enough for one person. And we're both like 5'10 and have headroom, which is good. And we have our um, shower. Now, loads of our friends are like, God, how'd you get on with this shower? It's actually really powerful, hot and cold water, and it's great. We have a little tiny sink here. We never use this unless we're being really lazy and it becomes a urinal. And then round here, we have our Fetford fitted toilet. This goes straight out into the Fetford cassette, which is accessed externally. And then we have all of our, <laughs> our wet room storage. Now this is um, from a company called Toiletries, which is based in Australia. It's pretty good. It just sticks on, comes off easy, leaves no mark. And yeah, all the grey water just empties out into our 100 litre grey water tank, which is also fitted under the map. We're 
we're both originally from the UK and um, back in the UK, we both had very stressful jobs. Uh, Tom was in the police, I was in property and we were working all the time. We had a lovely house, nice cars, nice holidays, but um, something was missing, wasn't it? Yeah, we weren't fulfilled. No, no. So we, um, one of a, a big holiday we did, we went to Australia for um, three weeks, went to see some family, absolutely fell in love with Australia. So decided we're gonna um, emigrate to Australia, which we did. We ended up getting our first van, which was a 1998 Ford Transit called Muriel, which was legendary. And then we moved over to New Zealand, got a couple more, another van and then this van, and we're doing the same here. And we wouldn't change anything, would we? We love it. No. Yeah. When you live in a van, I think for us, it's important not to get have too much clutter. So we, we have a dedicated corner for um, shells and fake plants and calendars and artwork and stuff like that. And this is our sofa that is part of the sort of our dining seating area. It also has a seat belt so we can take a third passenger here. We've done that maybe twice. Um, it's not the most comfortable sofa. It also folds down and out into a single bed. So this van is a free berth, but um, because of weight restrictions and we like our own space, we've never used this bed ever. Behind here is extra storage. We always have our bag ready to go on a hike. We always have our tennis rackets down here ready as well, because we love tennis. And this also stores our um, little dining table out of the way when we're not using it. And then just up here, we have our everyday stuff. So hair products, sun cream, any, silly things like that you might need every single day real quick. Tom's uke fits nicely up here and we have our smoke alarm and our carbon monoxide alarm. I'm pretty sure you have to have them in your van in New Zealand. Um, obviously we do our safety. So we use this area pretty much every day. We absolutely love our swivel seats. We feel like every van should have them. This is our only van that's had them. And we eat here, we chill here. We've got friends over, we sit here, we e can easily sit four people here. It's a really cool space. So underneath our sofa, we've got all of our batteries and sort of the technical electric side. Uh, we've got two 156 amp hour lead acid deep cycle batteries. So that's 312 amp hours, which we find is more than sufficient. We never run out of power. They're actually powered by two solar panels on the roof, which are 550 watts of solar. So we've, we've never run out. We're pretty much totally off grid. We've got our mains electric charger. We've got our Epineva solar charge controller on the side. We've got a smart shunt, which is like a, a battery monitor, measures the voltage and amperage of the batteries and gives a really accurate reading, like percentage of batteries that are um, how full they are. The batteries also charge on a DC to DC charger through the engine um, so when we are driving along it's charged up really quickly. You know if we ever ever are running low we can use that as well. So we don't actually have an inverter in this van. We've had inverters in the past but none of our devices require one. We've got two MacBooks, lots of other devices and none of them require 240 volts. So yeah, we run fine off of 12 volts. And um, we've even got Starlink, which we're converting to 12 volts as well. Um, but yeah, this system works amazingly for us. And like I say, we never run out of power, so. We've also got our Webesto diesel heater down here, which comes out through two external vents and that heats up the van in like two minutes. It's so good and it's um, a dry heat as well. So we don't get any condensation. Love the diesel heater. Just opposite the kitchen on the outside of the shower and part of our clutter corner, we um, have our, our mirrors. Now we're not too vain, but this van came with a fitted mirror here, which is really, really hard to look at yourself fully because, um, you know, like when you go out, you want to check yourself. So Tom actually jumped online and got these cheapo, really lightweight mirrors. We've actually scratched one, but we've got more because they're that cheap. Because this door opens, we can now like maneuver ourselves to see ourselves, our, our full body, which is 
pretty cool. So just here we have sort of our uh, wardrobe space. In this top cupboard, we just keep t-shirts and trousers, and this also has the controls for the satellite dish. To get TV, we just press a button and the satellite dish goes up and finds signal. Under here, we used to have a microwave, but because we never plug the van into mains power and the microwave could only be used with mains power, we sold it and we, we never eat micro, microwave food anyway. So we sold it and this is just where our pants and socks box goes because you can't have enough pants and socks. And then in the bottom cupboard, this is our hanging space and this is purely for jackets and hoodies. So at the top here, we have our freshwater and grey water gauges. So we just click a button and it tells us how full and empty they are. Next to that, we have our um, battery monitor that tells us exactly how much solar we have. It's connected to the smart shunt and our good friends at AA Solar fitted this out for us and it works really, really well. Next to that, we have all of our switches. So for the, the gas hood, the TV, um, the lights, the water heater, the water pump and the toilet flusher. It's all switched on and switched off here. We also have our radio and CD player that also has Bluetooth and this is purely for the back of the van. So if we're watching a film, we can connect our TV to this and have like surround sound, which is pretty cool. So um, this is our little 12 volt television and DVD player that's on a swinging arm. What Tom did was went out and got a fire stick so we can connect the TV to our Starlink or our hotspots. And then we can watch all our Netflix and everything on this TV, which um, was so easy for Tom to do and um, totally worth it. And a few of our friends have started doing that now as well, which is really cool. So we chose this van because it's fully self-contained. We really wanted a bathroom with a, a toilet. We loved the length of the van. Um, this van had actually done only 30,000 kilometers. So it's not a, an ex-rental, which most of them are in New Zealand. So it was re a really good find. Yeah, we were the first to see it and straight away we put a deposit down. It's had just one owner and we'd always really wanted a Mercedes Sprinter whenever we used to pass them in our other van to like, oh, we really want a Sprinter. We plan to live in a van for as long as we can. We've got no end in sight, really. We, yeah. Yeah, no, so like we, we've done the house thing. We don't want to do it. it. I mean, it's so nice not having to clean a big house or deal with a garden or... Or have all the bills. Goodness, could you imagine if you had a neighbour you didn't like in a house? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we have no no plans to change no. from van life, do we? We love it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now into our bedroom area. This is um, by far our favourite part of the van and the most um, complicated and long change we made to the van. So this used to be a U-shaped sofa the same um, height as the two chairs here. And what you used to have to do is make the bed up every single day, move squabs around, and it would make a massive king-size bed that was way too big and so much of a pain. So what we ended up doing was keeping the bed out, but having it um, north, um, east to west, sorry, and made all the time. We found that fine for a while, but we soon realized that um, we needed some more storage. So what we did, we ripped it all out and rebuilt the bed all on our own. Um, and now we have a raised permanent double bed. Um, check out episode 45, our bed build episode on our YouTube channel for all the details and the full rundown of how um, we did it and what we used. Above the bed, we have um, our bedtime cupboard. We have our air vent. Now we have this open like all the time. It's really important to have fresh air coming through. One of the changes we've made in the van that we absolutely love is our window shades. So we did loads and loads of research on different products locally that we could switch them out with. We couldn't find anything that was as good as quality or as well made as these. So we actually had to go to our friends in the States, uh, van made gear, and get these uh, window shades custom made, and we love them. Check out our YouTube for more details on that and maybe some discount codes.
this is the outside of the van. In here, we've just got our um, pull-out slide barbecue. So this is just fed from our nine kilogram gas bottles on the other side, just like our cooker. And it comes with this big plate. We can just chuck anything on there. And also this windshield. And it means we can cook even when it's really windy. Really convenient. It means we don't have to mess up inside. And yeah, love it. So we're just at the rear of the van now. And so this is our garage. This was a whole reason we ripped out the U-shaped sofa and the bed that was here and raised the bed. And so we have so much stuff here. Literally everything you can think of is in here in boxes. We're so, so happy with the decision we made by raising the bed. We can't buy anything else because we're full, but um, yeah, we're really happy, aren't we? Yeah. It's great. Everyone should do this. So we're just now actually building our um, socials and our YouTube channel, which is Tasman Travels. We should have done it years ago um, when we first started van life in Australia, shouldn't we? And when we went to all these different countries we went to. So you can check us out on YouTube at Tasman Travels. We're on Instagram, Tasman Travels, Facebook, Tasman Travels. And on those pages, um, we share all of our adventures. We share tips and tricks of uh, van life, camping. We review different tourist attractions. Yeah, just like the highlights along, along our journey, really, isn't it? Yeah, check it out. Come and, fo come and follow along. <laughs> Thanks to Brad and Tiny Home Tours for featuring us. And we'll see you out there.